cutting through a cloudy and drizzly Sunday in Chicago. The very real sense of joy and relief emanating from Democrats ahead of their party's convention. The mood is very, 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 very um, excited. It feels like people are definitely just excited that someone new is in the ticket and has like a better chance uh, to win. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris heads into the DNC with a newfound sense of momentum. Democrats are doing better in national and swing state polls ever since President Joe Biden stepped aside and endorsed her. When you first learned that Kamala Harris would be the candidate, what did you think and how did you feel? I said, of course she is. <laughs> I said, of course she is. A, a black woman has to come in and fix everything again. I'm really excited to see a woman up there. I'm really excited to see a person of color and to me personally, as a voter, what's going to make my vote is somebody that I can tell my children I'm not embarrassed as my president. President Biden is one of the party elders who will deliver a primetime speech this week, along with Barack and Michelle Obama and Bill and Hillary Clinton. But the official message of this gathering could be overshadowed. So what I'm expecting is that we're going to have thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people out in that beautiful park right there. Protesters angry with the White House for its support of Israel in the war in Gaza will march around the convention site. No change in plans just because Democrats have a new candidate. So many people who feel like they've been abandoned by the Democratic Party and I think that they're going to withhold their, their vote. Protesters will not be allowed into the secure perimeter, which is typical for a modern political convention and hopes remain high all will remain peaceful. Katie, you talk about all of the excitement you're hearing from Democrats, but they must have some concerns. They do. No one really wants to get ahead of themselves. The Democrats we spoke with say this is a moment in time. There is plenty of election campaign left. And American politics in this moment, it is so unpredictable. Look at what's happened over the last month alone. Now, when it comes to the protests, there is some concern as well. We spoke with protest organizers. They don't think there's going to be any violence. Their number one concern is how they're going to be treated by police. Some people who live here, though, we spoke with them. They're concerned that the protests could become become volatile, if not violent. Katie Simpson in Chicago for us tonight.